Hey everybody, Carter here. Today I was kayaking in a bay that connects to the Puget Sound, and that kind of made me wonder what type of sharks live on the Puget Sound, and what type of sharks live in Washington. So that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. The first shark I'm going to talk about is called the six-gill shark. This shark is well known around Seattle because it's so giant and it's really elusive. This shark can grow up to 20 feet long and it lives way down in the depths of the ocean, but sometimes it is seen in the shallower waters of Puget Sound. This shark has a very wide habitat range, but is super hard to find, so it is very little studied. Sadly, this shark is near threatened because of overfishing, but it's kind of a confusing topic because we don't really know how many there are because they're so hard to find. This shark gets its name by its six gill slits. Most of the sharks recorded in this region were siblings. This means that this is a very important nursery for these sharks. Scientists think that once they reach a certain size, they swim out to sea. If you want to learn more about these awesome animals, I would highly recommend this documentary. I watched it to do some research for this topic, and I thought it was super, super interesting. So go watch it. Before doing that, watch till the end of the video so you can learn what other type of sharks live in the Puget Sound. Before I head on to number two, if you guys are already enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe because I did a ton of research for this topic and it would mean a lot. For our number two pick, we're going to be focusing on this shark. What do you guys think this shark is? Most people would say a great white shark, but this is actually not the case. It is a close cousin of the great white shark, though. This shark is actually called the salmon shark. Now, this shark eats salmon and other fish, as its name would suggest. This shark is very well known by scientists because it can maintain its stomach temperature. This is very rare for fish. This shark can be found in North America all the way from Alaska down to California. This shark can reach a size from 6 to 8 feet long, which is a lot smaller than the great white. I couldn't find much information on if this shark lives in the Puget Sound or kind of more in the open ocean, but I'm pretty sure that it lives more in the open ocean. I could be wrong though. Now I'm going to be moving on to the third shark. Now this shark is the big one. This is the great white shark. Although great white sharks are extremely rare in Washington state, every once in a while, one passes through these waters. One example of this was in February 19th of 2015. On this day, a 200 pound seal was found in half on a Washington shore. They were wondering what this was, so they sent it to a shark expert in California. They determined that it was, in fact, a great white shark. Scientists concluded that this seal was eaten very close to shore. The shark also must have been at least 18 feet long due to the bite size. The good news is, is that there's only been two shark bites in the history of Washington State, so don't be too afraid. These guys don't live in the Puget Sound, but they can rarely pass through the waters of Washington. The biggest sharks can reach up to 26 feet long. The fourth shark I'm going to be covering today is called the spiny dogfish. Now this may not cross your mind when you think of a shark, but it is a shark. This shark likes to congregate in giant groups, and it used to be one of the most common sharks, or actually the most common shark in the entire world, but because it's so popular in food products, it is actually a lot more uncommon. This shark has a spine behind its fin, hence the name spiny dogfish. These dorsal spines are actually mildly poisonous. Another interesting fact about this shark is that it takes a very, very long time for it to reproduce. This shark can live 25 to 80 years. This shark's diet consists of squid, octopus, crustaceans, and fish that are smaller than them. The fifth shark I'm going to talk about is called the basking shark. This shark is the second largest shark in the world, only beaten by the whale shark. The biggest one ever recorded was caught in a fishing net. It was 40.3 feet long and weighed over 16 tons. Adults typically reach about 26 feet, though. These sharks are extremely rare in Washington and in the Puget Sound, but you can still find them sometimes. There was a news article out there about a family who was lucky enough to see a 25-foot-long basking shark just swim by their boat. It was so close that they could touch it. This shark is called the basking shark because it commonly feeds near the surface of the water. These sharks live in tons of different places. To most people, this shark would look pretty intimidating, but it's actually completely harmless to humans. It is actually a filter feeder, which means it only feeds on plankton. There are actually a bunch more sharks that live in the Puget Sound and in the Washington area. I can go over those in a future video if you guys would like. So that marks the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, it'd be really cool if you liked and subscribed. I sure enjoyed making it. And thanks for watching.